Hey, good to see you. Well, today let's talk about some of the musts, some of the things that need to occur. I'm really glad that you're interested in making your classrooms as reader friendly and as geared toward literacy growth as you possibly can. One of the things that we need to, to keep in mind, and you're, you're possibly looking at the handout I have there for you called Information Reading for College. The first item on there is that reading must be authentic. Uh, try to really emphasize to teachers that I'm working with how the brain works to process words and to make meaning and to use that meaning for learning. And one of the things that we know is the brain isn't interested in pretend. The brain isn't interested in things that it doesn't really need to be dealing with. So when students see our textbooks and they don't get the connection between the reading that we're asking them to do, whether it's in a textbook or a newspaper article or an online article or whatever it might be, if they don't get a connection that that's a real kind of reading that they need to do, then they're not very likely to get their brains on board so that even if they call the words to themselves and they hear that little inner voice of all the words being called, it still doesn't feel real. So one of the things that teachers have to really focus on with every reading experience that students have is to first verbalize and even get the students to verbalize it back to them. The real meaning of reading that piece, the real authentic reason that that piece of reading needs to happen. I'll give you some of that verbiage. Students, let me tell you about this piece we're about to read. Here's what it's about, and here's why I need you to read it. Make it authentic. Now you have the brain's attention, and as the students call the words, you actually have thinking going on while they're reading, and there really is no reading without the thinking. More later. Thanks.